everybody good morning so today I'm vlogging and I'm also going to be showing later on the um, eyelash lift that I'm going to be getting so I've never had an eyelash lift before and if you are just interested in seeing some before and after for the lift then you're just gonna have to fast forward a little bit in this video I'm not sure what time I'm starting that yet um, but I'm going to do that this afternoon so a little closer to time I will show you um, like a closer view of my eyelashes, just how they look normally now with no makeup, no curling or anything. And then after the lift, I'll show you what they look like so we can see um, just how different it is. So I've never had one before. I'm really excited to be getting one and I really hope that I like it and um, want to like keep getting them because then I don't have to keep curling my eyelashes. So I'm excited about that. If that's all you're here for, then please just fast forward you know, click on through until you can find when that starts. Um, otherwise, thanks for staying tuned for the rest of this vlog. Okay, time to feed the cats. And let's see, I always open up the door, or the blinds on the door so that he can look out every day, yeah? And now we have to feed them. And even though they get clean water and food dishes every day, this is what it looks like. They make a big mess. Right? Don't you? Yeah. What? You're out of food. I know. Emergency. You're out of food. Are we happy now? Yes. Now we're happy. He likes to alert, like, alert me every single morning that his food is either empty or very low. And he likes when I come down and give him food. So he will start eating right away while I watch him. Yeah. The first thing I'm going to do after feeding the cats is take out all of my smoothie ingredients. So actually I've already did that. I feel weird. I have no head. Hi. Um, so I'm not gonna make the smoothie yet because I'm gonna exercise first, but these are all the things that I've taken out that I include in my smoothies nowadays. So I have aloe vera juice, um, kefir, and um, cold milled chia and flaxseed powder and matcha like green tea powder and I usually do one or two dates but I cut them up and let them soak so I've got a little bowl of water I'm gonna let them do that because they don't blend very easily even for the Vitamix um, I've got blueberries and this is the primary fruit I put in my smoothies nowadays it's like fresh blueberries it's just I don't know it kind of kills the taste of the spinach um, I have a couple of strawberries that have seen better days, so I'm just going to use them up and toss them in. And I use flax milk as my main liquid. And I have this protein superfood powder. It's in the vanilla flavor. I don't know. And I have bone broth collagen pure. So I guess it's like not flavored, like it's not chocolate or vanilla or anything. So I use all that. Oh, and I use spinach. Oh, I forgot to get that out of the fridge. and spinach. So I'm gonna let that sit out because I'm gonna exercise and then by the time I'm done exercising, I wanna take as little as little time as possible to make my smoothie because I'm going to be hungry. So everything's just going to sit here. I'm gonna cut up a couple of dates, put them in my little bowl of water, and then I will get to exercising. First thing I do for exercise is 50 squats. Fifty squats are done. Now I'm going to start my cardio, and I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to be exercising for today. So I'm gonna just wing it and see what I have the energy and motivation to do. So I've got my first video picked out, and I've got my big jug of water. I know you're not supposed to drink a whole lot while you're exercising, but I have to drink a little something because it's the morning and I'm very thirsty. So I'm gonna get started.
my arms are so tired. Like, this kills my wrists. The last move for this video is a plank. And I cannot do a plank up here on my hands. I have to do a plank on my elbows because I'm just not strong enough. This is killer. I hate these. They're so hard. Okay. That's only one video. And that video was only, um, let's see, stop. About six minutes and 45 seconds of exercise. So. I gotta keep going. That was only the beginning. <sighs> um, I'm 20 minutes in. Let me double check my timer. Yep, 20 minutes, 32 seconds. <sighs> I've hit the wall. I'm tired, I'm a little out of breath, I'm a little sweaty, and I don't wanna keep going. I wanna be done. But 20 minutes just isn't enough. So I need to keep keep going. I need to get closer to 45, but I don't want to. I just want to be lazy and stop exercising because it's not fun and it's hard work. So I'd like to give up. Shoes are falling off. Okay, I did a full forty five minutes and 100 squats in addition to the 45 minutes. They were not part of the 45. And I am exhausted, even though I took a little break in there to make my husband lunch and see him off to work. Now I am ready to be a lump and do no more exercise. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go make my smoothie. And uh, this little guy's been watching as I've been exercising. Hi, little dude. He's been watching me. Yeah. And I'm watching Kathy Lee and Hoda in the background. So, okay. Come on, you. We gotta go make our smoothie. The final product. Does this look delicious or what? I'm joking. It doesn't look that delicious. It's this kind of weird greenish gray color. And you'd think for the Vitamix that it would be able to pulverize everything, but look. There's so many pieces of blueberry that it just can't get. I guess it's just the skin. That's, you know, probably all it is. So I am going to try and drink this whole thing. It doesn't taste too bad. It really doesn't. But that doesn't mean it's always easy to drink all this. But I'm going to try. I'm going to stay icky for a little bit longer. Um, I got the vacuum out. Oh, how funny. It's like peeking around the corner. I got the vacuum out because I want to vacuum in our front foyer here and the living dining room area and I don't want to like shower and then get gross again from doing stuff around the house and I know it's, it's like gross to wait a long time after you've exercised to take your shower but from what I understand about the lash lift um, you can't get your eyelashes wet for 24 hours afterwards so I want to take my shower closer to the lash lift time because then I won't take a shower for a full 24 hours and maybe a little bit longer because that kind of thing makes me a little bit paranoid. You know, like I don't want to take it right at 24 or 25 hours. So I want to be showered and clean like right before the lash lift. And then, so like, and that's at three o'clock today, which is Tuesday. So I want to shower right before then 
and then I've got till three o'clock Wednesday when I can't get my eyelashes wet. And if I take a shower, I'll obviously get my eyelashes wet. So I'm just gonna forego a shower probably all day Wednesday. So it would be a little bit gross, but I think it's worth it for my hopefully beautiful eyelashes. So I just wanna get as much like stuff done as I can around the house now that's gonna make me even like grosser and sweatier. And then I will shower. I also have some carpet cleaning to do. So it shows up a little bit on camera, I think. But compliments of our wonderful fluffy little angels. Um, we get some carpet stains and spots from their hairball. So I have one here and I'm going to spray it with this um, OxyClean stuff. This is typically what we use. And I, you know, as soon as there's a hairball or something on the carpet, um, or I don't know if they like throw up food or something. Sorry, it's disgusting. Um, you know, I wipe it up and I spray it with this and it doesn't always do the trick. Sometimes it does and this does a great job and other times it just doesn't. So this is one of the times where it just didn't um, clean it enough and it's bothering me obviously. So I'm going to let that sit for just a minute and go get my little carpet cleaner device um, ready to use. This is my carpet cleaner. It's a Bissell Little Green Pro Heat. I've only used it a couple times so far, so I'm not super duper familiar with it yet. But my spot is here-ish, and I've got a little bit of water, and that's like a stair tool. So this is the tool that I think is just fine. So you turn it on. It makes a ton of noise. It's really loud. And I put hot water in here already. And you spray. Water comes out and you scrub. And then you use this part to suction up some of the water. Okay, it's not so much of a snack as I guess I'm just gonna eat. I just want a meal, I want food. I got broccoli cheddar soup from the grocery store, like in their ready-made soup bar. So I'm gonna have some of that, not a ton. I'm gonna have some of that. And for the first time, I'm going to try kombucha. I'm not entirely sure if that's pronouncing it correctly. Kombucha, kombucha. It's supposed to be healthy-ish for you because it's fermented. And on the jar, it says, um, Organic, natural fermentation, gift of authentic probiotic drink. So probiotics are good for you. Oh, oh, it says naturally effervescent, do not shake. I just shook it. Well, I saw stuff floating on the bottom. I assumed you're supposed to shake it. I guess not. This kind is uh, the Fresh Time brand in Timeline. I don't know but I will try it. I'm going to be very brave. Live probiotics and enzymes. Let's see how this tastes. First, let's see how it smells. Wait a minute. Gosh, my air conditioner is so loud. It smells like apple cider vinegar. Like, exactly like apple cider vinegar. Ooh, I wouldn't drink that. I won't drink apple cider vinegar plain. Okay. Okay. <coughs> um, okay, yep. It's not as bad as apple cider vinegar, but it's a relative. This could be the cousin to apple cider vinegar. It's not as strong, so it's not as gross. Um, maybe I can mix it with water and drink it that way. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be taking little teeny tiny sips. That stuff floating on the bottom. I don't know. Okay, I tried it. I'm not gonna waste it. I will drink it. Um, I just wish I really liked it better. The other flavor I have though is like cherry limeade or cherry lemonade or something. It sounds a lot better. Maybe that one will be more delicious. I know nobody wants to be this close to my face, but I just want to give you a good view 
of what my eyelashes are like naturally. Hopefully I'm aiming that sort of well. You can see, I think, let me see, look in the camera. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> um, you know, they don't curl naturally. They don't go up naturally on their own. I don't have a ton of eyelashes. Um, so they're, you know, they're not terribly long. Okay, I hope that gives you a good look. But I wanted to show you that as kind of a before, um, before I'm getting my lash lift, because I'm leaving in just a little while. So this is the before um, with no makeup or anything, obviously, because I didn't think that'd be a good idea to put on makeup today. Okay, I'm about to go in for the lash lift. I just want to take one last look because um, it's overcast out, but it's still like out, you know, like in the daylight. So again, I know that's probably, I probably closed my eyes. I keep like blinking and looking around funny, but there's one last look. Okay, let's go in. So I think that this one turned out slightly better possibly than this one, but just on like the edges here, but that's just, that's not exactly accurate yet because um, she put keratin oil on at the end and she said that's what can make them look a little bit clumped together. So I can't get them wet for 24 hours. Yeah, cutie, I know. I can't get them wet for 24 hours. And the whole thing, mom, what do you think? Took like about an hour? Yeah. Took about an hour. And it was easy. Like she said, it's different than a lash perm. A lash lift is different than a lash perm and I'm not really sure how I guess it's because of the formula that she uses and um, the only hard part was trying to keep your eyes closed for like the entire hour and my eyes got really like shaky and twitchy but other but then they settled down so it's probably just from like straining to keep them closed and from the bright light that was um, that's over your face but otherwise nothing hurt uh, there was no pain of any kind, and it certainly wasn't difficult. You just lay there and they mess with your eyelashes. So um, the cost for this eyelash lift, lift was $85, and that does not include a tip, so I tipped on top of that. So I'm hoping I get two full months out of this. She said you might get up to 12 weeks, actually. Just depends on you. But so far, I am really happy with it. Now we're going to make dinner, and I've got stuffed mushrooms from fresh thyme that you just put in the oven, so those should be easy, and then we're going to have steak. What do you think of Mama's eyelashes? Do they look pretty? Are you amazed by how nice they look? Uh-huh. I can tell how excited you are. Yeah, you're my little bear. Oh, your paw's gonna hit the camera. You're my little bear. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm in the bathroom looking at my eyelashes again. I can't pass a mirror in my house without looking at my eyelashes. Who's hollering? I think somebody's hollering outside. So I'm hoping that these couple of lashes that are kind of clumped together separate once the keratin oil wears away because on my left eye, they're more separated than on my right eye. And of course, I like the look of the left eye better um, because they're all separated. So I'm hoping that this one separates. There's some clumpy spots. I'm not gonna panic and like say that anything's wrong though because it just needs a little more time. Because I need chocolate and I'm like dying, dying, dying for something chocolate right now, I'm going to make my chocolate milk. So, um, oh, I need milk, wait. I'm gonna use almond milk because that's what I have a little bit more of since I use so much flax milk since I go through it like crazy for the smoothies. And I only get unsweetened. I don't care if it's original or vanilla, but the thing to know about almond milk, let me show you is right here, wait a minute, right down here by my finger, is if you get unsweetened almond milk, then it has zero grams of sugar and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to Pour about that much for now because I need to mix. And I'm going to do my chocolate bone broth protein powder. It's this stuff. I got it from the Fresh Time grocery store. And it smells, I don't know how to describe this. 
Okay, it's the closest way I can thing I can describe it is coconut. It smells coconutty. Um, so I'm gonna do half a uh, whatever scooper. I'm not sure how much that is. Maybe about a tablespoon. Put that in. Okay, put the mixer. And I also had Slim Fast, and this was I bought like a couple flavors of this. It's probably really super. Sorry, I hate when my head's out of the shot. I feel so weird, but it's probably super old. But we're not gonna mind that. Um, so this Slim Fast, I never really got for meal replacement purposes so much as just being able to add it to milk because it claims to have all these um, vitamins and such in it. So that's why I got it originally a ways back was just to add things that were kind of healthy for you rather than take away food. So, um, so I've got a tablespoon, well, okay, whatever, sort of almost a tablespoon of that. And then cocoa powder, just straight up unsweetened cocoa powder, whatever brand. And again, zero grams of sugar. So I'm going to put, oh, not, that's too much, uh, maybe about a teaspoon. And let's look at the sugar for the Slim Fast. Um, one scoop has six grams of sugar. So I'm not sure exactly how many grams I used. And the protein powder has one gram, it says. So that's not bad. So then I put all the powders in the milk and then I take my little whisker doodad and I whisk it all up carefully. Okay, and I do need to give it a stir with a spoon as well. And then get a straw. Oh, and just from whipping it up with that little blender thingy, it got like higher. And it, like, it whips up the almond milk so that it takes up more room. And that's why I have to leave so much room in the little cup. But this way, I get chocolate milk that tastes really good and it's not super unhealthy. Okay, I'm gonna have my sister come over. She hasn't seen my eyelashes yet from the lift and give it us her honest opinion. She just got home. Okay, okay. come close. Can you see it from I can already see it. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pretty good? Yeah, that's that's a noticeable difference. Yay! Noticeable Sister difference. Sister noticed and likes it. Mom likes it a lot. I do too. And I, we're just gonna see what. It's a noticeable <laughs> difference. Like, I thought it. I don't know if a guy would notice. I wasn't even standing that close and I could see them. I like keep going by the mirror and in the bathroom and keep looking. And my eyes, she was like, just to check. Just to check. Good. So, so far, it's been a couple hours and I'm in love with them. So, did she say then. When your eyelashes are curled, that means you don't have to wear mascara? Or can mm. you still wear mascara? You can still wear mascara. Okay. She said, be careful of waterproof. Oh. You can still take off your mascara as normal. She said it's when you tint your eyelashes that she tells people maybe don't wear mascara or something. Mm -hmm. because, I, I don't know though. I, I missed that, some of that because it didn't really apply to me. Right. Because I'm not tinting them yet. But waterproof, waterproof mascara is the thing I'd be careful. How long does it last? Anywhere, she said, from six to 12 weeks. Oh, so like probably dependent on how well you take care of them? Well, just dependent on you because they grow out. Okay, okay. So she said you can come back as soon as you want to get them done again. Like you don't have to wait from six to 12 weeks. You can come back whenever. Well, I like them. Thank you, I do too. Yes. Very nice. Okay, I'm ready for your opinion on my eyelashes. They look curled. Yes. They're very nice. Oh good, thanks. Yeah, they're supposed to look curlish. And how long will that last? She said anywhere from six to 12 weeks, just depending on how fast your eyelashes grow because it'll grow out. Sure. So it's a success from mom and from my sister and from my husband, so, so far. Very nice. Good, thanks. We are watching The Office now. We've had dinner and we're just chilling and hanging out. So now we're gonna watch a couple episodes. Okay, well, the cat's here, she wants water. So it's nighttime now, and I'm in my bathroom. I have to take off some nail polish. Doesn't look like I'm wearing it, maybe a little bit, for my fingers and my toes. I'm gonna give my nails a couple of days to rest. And in the meantime, now that it's evening, nighttime, and there's no more sunshine, and I don't have any bright windows to go by, I wanted to show you what my eyelashes look like. Just regular old in my bathroom lights here around the house. 
So this is what they look like. <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. This is it. This is what they look like. Oh, princess, do you want to be on camera? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yep. Wonderful. Yes. I guess you wanted to make an appearance. Um, so now I'm doing, going to do my nail polish removal, not washing my face. I think I'm going to put some toner on a little cotton square and do a little gentle wipe down of my face, but totally avoid my eye area. And what else are we going to do? Not much. Then maybe once I'm ready for bed, I think I'll get in bed and probably watch something on the computer and maybe work on my cross stitch project. I'm trying to learn how to cross stitch and I only pick it up maybe once a month or so. Or no, 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 once a week or so. And I'm just not great at it yet, but I'm learning. So maybe we'll work on that because I feel guilty. I haven't started reading a new book lately and I am not making great progress on my cross stitch. And there's a cattail. Princess, I swear, you are the silliest little critter. Oh wait, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So I have mentioned, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting all shaky here. I have mentioned before that I have an obsession with a body scrub. It's the Lemon Blueberry Tart Body Scrub Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. I have an obsession and I'm going to show you how bad the obsession is. So here in the closet that's in our bathroom, um, I have a stash, a stash and a half of lemon blueberry tart scrubs. And there's no light in here, so sorry, it's a little bit dark. I have amassed 21 sugar scrubs, 21 jars. And you can see from underneath, um, they're stacked too high for the most part, but then I have some more on top. Yep, 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 it's a problem. And you might be thinking, why, 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 how and why do you need 21 jars of body scrub? Like nobody needs that, you're never gonna use it all. Well, hear me out. It's a limited edition and it's going away. And there aren't a whole lot of things that I, in terms of like products anyway, like bath and body makeup products, there aren't a whole lot of things that I obsess over and that I love enough to buy a bunch of times or even love enough to repurchase once or twice. And I have finally found a scent that I am just crazy about. It smells so, so crazy good. So because it's limited edition, it's going away and you can't find it online and I can't find it really very much in the stores anymore. So I called some Altas around me and I sent out like, an SOS to my some of my family members and asked them if they would check Altas for me and I went up and went around to different Altas and picked them up where they had some left after I called and put them on hold for myself. Some of my family members have checked and gotten some for me as well at their Altas and that is how I have amassed a collection of 21 of them because people have been helping me and I am that nuts about it. So my mom kept one, which I thought was more than fair. She got me several. So she kept one because she likes the smell of it also. And I mean, as far as I know, these are going away and never ever coming back. So I want a bunch of them to last me as long as possible because as far as we know, and as far as I found online, they will never release the scent again. So I don't know what else to do besides hoard as much of it as I can so that it can last me as long as possible and I can enjoy it as long as possible. And then once it's out, it's out and I can never get it again. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. And that's why I'm a total lunatic who has 21 body scrubs in her bathroom. I never keep that much of anything. Like that's a little bit crazy or a lot of crazy. I just wanted to share how I take my nail polish off. So I used to do the regular method of just taking your nail polish remover putting it on a little cotton circle and then like rub, 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 rubbing. Well, I found that annoying. Oop, getting a text message. I found that really annoying after a while. And plus it was spreading the nail polish like all over my fingers and getting my fingers all icky. So instead what I do now is I take a regular, just cheapy little cotton ball that you buy in like the huge bags of cotton balls. And I kind of like unravel it and separate it 
and then I cut it into as many little pieces as I can, pieces that will hopefully fit over my nail. And then I will take some nail polish remover, pour it into the cap, and then dip these little cotton pieces in there. And then I will put one on each of my nails, kind of like that, and let it soak for a couple of minutes. Then I will wipe those off. And for whatever's still left on my nail, then I will just use one of these little regular cotton circles and take the rest off. But it's a bit more time consuming. Well, I don't know. It like, it isn't, it isn't more time consuming. It's definitely more steps, I guess. But otherwise it just, I mean, it took me forever anyway to just like rub and rub and rub with one of these. So now you just let it soak on your nails for a couple of minutes and then wipe it off. And it's much easier to just do it that way even if it does end up taking me a little bit longer. And I have a helper and she's being a total weirdo. Do you wanna see her? She's in my sink being a total weirdo. Gosh, it is so dark. Sorry about that, but this is as bright as my bedroom gets, I swear. So we, and that's the, she's so dark, but the cat's back there. Princess, there she is. So we're gonna chill out in bed and watch some YouTube and um, this is my cross stitch project. Can you tell what it is? It's a man. Specifically, it's a groom. So this is the picture that it's supposed to look like, or you know, any variation. So I'm making it for my husband and I, and then I'll put our names and our wedding date at the bottom. And it's obviously not a large project, it's just something little. But that is as far as I have gotten. And I already made a mistake, like I messed up counting some of the stitches, so what did I do? It was like, oh, I know, I accidentally gave him two left feet. Yeah, somehow I did that. Um, but hey, it's my first time. So he has no head and no hands and no uh, uh, necktie he needs, but he's well on his way. And I started with the groom because I thought it would be easier than the bride. And also, I have to do a groom with a beard like this guy, but I don't like this sideburn type pieces because I think he looks like Billy Ray Cyrus. And I do not want my cross stitch husband to look like Billy Ray Cyrus. So I'll have to figure that out. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out with me today. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing um, the, the before and after from the eyelash lift and thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you soon. Bye!